Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico. In this video, we're going to learn how to consume an API without needing premium license in Power Automate Cloud. For example, I'm going to use here the quick chart, but we have an important point. Your API cannot have an OAuth authentication. We can use just APIs that are free to use that don't need authentication or APIs that you can send the API key on the URL. It's going to be clear when you watch the video. So for example, in this class, I want to generate a QR code on Power Automate and send this QR code to email, for example. For that, I don't need a premium license to consume that API because that API in a specific, we don't need any authentication. So let's go. I'm going to build that flow with you going directly to the point. I'm going to build an instant cloud flow here to uh, generate QR code and send to manual trigger flow. And for example, let's say that I want to insert here an input and that input is going to be a website. After that, I want to generate a QR code from this website and send through email. So the next step here is to use the OneDrive connector. So let's check the OneDrive connector. We're going to go here from upload file from URL. So here is the magic that we're going to use. We're going to upload a file in the OneDrive with an URL. So for this video, I'm going to get a QR code like that. So how to use this QR code just to make it more, more simple for you to understand. If I insert here my Instagram, Instagram that you can follow if you want, you're going to see that generates a QR code. So I'm going to upload a file into the OneDrive using that URL. In that example, I'm using QR code, but the quick chart have uh, other graphs that you can build with the API. And you can use that to consume other APIs with data. So I just access um, page here that shows some free APIs to test. And for example, if I want to get data from the population of USA here with this URL, I can upload a file with this data. So it's not just for images that, that what I'm trying to show you, you can build a file with the JSON data that comes from the URL. Okay. In my case, I'm using the QR code. So let's upload file from URL. I'm going to copy again this URL. I'm going to insert the source right here. The text is going to be dynamically for my manual trigger. So the website that is from my manual trigger. The destination file path you can choose because it's where you're going to store it. So I'm going to store it in my root, root path. I'm going to overwrite, yes, and I'm going to call my new QR code.png. Okay. It's PNG because it's the response of this QR code API. When I save it and test it, so I'm going to run here the automated cloud flow. My website going to be okay. And when it runs, we can see here on my OneDrive my QR code right here. When I open it, ta -da, my QR code is ready. So if I want to send that through email, what I can do is to get the content from this file and send through email. So I think you understand what we need to do now. But before that, what I'm going to show you is that if I try to use, for example, a JSON, JSON data, from Data USA, Dogs, or any other API that have or not have API key in the URL, like that. So it's a URL. You can insert API key or not on the URL, and it comes back the JSON response. We can use this URL here. So let's test it so you can check. Okay, so let's copy an action, paste action right here, and change this URL to that one, okay? The destination going to be data.json, save. And the same thing that I 
I tell about the QR code file. After upload, I can read the content, right? So let's read the content here, getting the data from the URL. So I'm going to use again the OneDrive, but now I'm, I want to get the file content. So get file content and the file going to be dynamically created from the last step, right? So this get file content going to get the JSON data. I'm going to run it and here it is, get file content with the, the content right here. Of course, the, the, the body here is not in text. It is on, on octet string type, but we can transform it using a compose. Pretty easy here. Just insert a compose and it will compose that octet string into text. So just insert the file content. And if we run it again, we're going to see in that compose the transformation into a um, text in a JSON, right? So we can use the JSON in that compose. So check it out. Right here, the output is exactly the JSON that comes from the API. So the idea is to use that for APIs that don't need OAuth or any authentication. You won't need any of premium license. In the case of the QR code, I can move on on this automated cloud flow and get this content and insert into my Outlook emails, for example. So let's do it just to finish the, the class, make it more complete. So send an email. I'm going to be more faster here. I'm going to send an email to myself. So let's get my email right here and test the body. I'm, I want to insert here the image of my QR code. So how to do it? We're going to insert image. You're going to insert here source equals data image base 64 and here going to be the base 64 so we need to insert the the content right here where my cursor is so to do it we need to get the content from the url again so so the base 64 that we need basically is this content right here we need to get this content right i'm going to come here and Insert the expression file content content adds. Just to make sure that it is, that is an HTML, I'm going to cut, click here, okay, on the toggle called code view and paste it again, just to make sure that it, that it works. And now it is ready to send a QR code. So I'm going to save it and run it again. And I'm going to insert again here so you can follow me at LinkedIn. Okay. I'm going to run this flow. And if I go to my email right here, we can see that the email is here. My QR code is here. So pretty simple to use, pretty simple to consume the API because we don't need any authentication. And Again, guys, again, that is a free feature. Okay, that is a free feature. If I go back here, uh, we can see that that is a free and standard license. I don't have any premium license here, and you can use it in your projects like me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please comment down below your feedback and also comment the word or secret word for this video comment pineapple so i will know that you watched the video to the end it's a way of knowing who liked the video and watch it to the end and consider to subscribe share so we can grow up this channel thank you so much again we see you in another class in another video and please subscribe